got you know it being modest pop and ship it only because you know you popping hey queendom it's your girl glam queen right and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to set up a romantic valentine's day flower bath with candles don't forget to like this video also comment what are your plans for valentine's day this year share this video with anyone you know who is planning to stay in on valentine's day and also if you are new don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you'll be the first to know when i upload a video okay now let's get into the video first I'm going to show you guys what you will need to do this setup. First, you will need some silk rose petals or, you know, flowers. Then you will need some balloons. I just have here two balloons. One is pink and one is red, and they both say love. You don't even need helium for these. All you need is the straw, so... I have the straw and I have string there. Then you will need some candles. You can get the tea light candles. Those are the like mini ones. And I have four packets of those and they each come with eight in there. You can get these from Target, Walmart, Dollar Tree. I got all these stuff from Dollar Tree. And also you need this lighter fluid. So now I'm in my bathroom and first things first, you're going to want to make sure that your bathroom is nice and clean and also you're going to want to make sure that your bathroom is clear from clutter. So if you have any soap dishes, rags, um, body wash, shampoo, all that good stuff, you're going to make sure that you remove all of that stuff and put it into like your bathroom cabinet or into like a little caddy and then put it into your bathroom cabinet so that everything looks nice romantic clean and clear when you set up all of your candles and balloons and petals and for picture purposes as well so yeah so first i'm gonna do the balloons and then i will set up the water so i'm gonna get my straw out And it wants us to insert the straw into the valve. So in that area right there where you would put helium, if this was the one that you put helium in. So you would insert the straw there, like two inches deep, they said, in the instructions. And then you would just blow until it gets full. I'm going to put this in as bloopers. Now I'm going to put the string on and I might cut it if it's too long. I mean, I doubt it's going to be long, but just in case, also have your scissors handy. It'll be best if I hook it at the bottom. So you're going to take this string and then you're going to tie it to the valve and you can tie it two times and make a knot. Also, I forgot guys, get some tape as well. Everything that I use in this video, I will be sure to put it in the description box so that you guys have everything that you need and that you don't have to run back outside. You know? Two 
Cousins. Love. Okay, guys, so I set up my balloons where I would like to put it, and I have my tape handy, and I'm going to stick the balloon to the wall. Depending on how your bathroom is set up, you can choose where would you like to set up your balloon. This is how my bathroom is set up. I had a two hand towel rails here, so that's where I'm gonna put it. If you were to put helium in these balloons, you probably can let them just hang freely. Or if you have like multiple balloons, like there's all sorts of balloons, heart balloons, you know, balloons that say happy Valentine's Day on it. I just have two balloons that say love. You could just let them hang in the air, hang down like all over the bathroom and just let it like float. I think I'm going to let this one hang down. Okay guys, so now for the part that you guys have all been waiting for, we're going to be filling up the tub now. You're going to be filling up the tub either three-fourths or halfway because you're going to leave room for your body to get in there. If you fill it up all the way to the top and you put your body in there, it's going to overflow. So right now, I'm going to fill the tub up probably with some hot water so that, you know, after a while, the water dies down. You don't want to fill it up with warm water and then it gets cold. So we're going to fill it up with hot water. Make sure that your drain is switched up so that the water doesn't continuously go down. You want the water to actually stay up and not go down the drain. So yeah, that's already up. So now we're going to fill the tub up. Okay guys, so now that the tub is filled halfway, I'm gonna start to put the rose petals into the water. You can put them one by one or you can just drop the whole bag in. Drop the whole bag in, then you can just spread them out. I'm just gonna put one on each corner just to start it off so everything looks symmetrical. Then I'm gonna put one on the middle on each side. Then I'm gonna just start putting them all around.
So now everything is all set up. I have two left over. I'm trying to think where I should put it. I'm trying to think if I should put one here. Yeah, I'll put one there and yeah, I'll just leave this one left over. Now you can light all the candles up. I made sure that all my wicks are standing up. And we're gonna just start from that corner and make our way around. Okay. Auto Marvels, kind of spin it, man. 